<clears throat> got myself in the spirit of going to church. And in the midst of um, a lot that's been going on, God has still been dealing with me. God has still been blessing me. Even when I didn't realize it, even when I wasn't expecting him to do anything because I felt like I hadn't, I hadn't did anything. You know, you only get out what you put in. And I've been so tired, weak, fragile, not putting enough in. At least that's what I thought. And um, I got confirmation today. Some people call it, you know, just what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, that's a coincidence. But long story short, my stepsister put up a message on Facebook today that said, God is restoring you. And I guess to my church, and I love I love my bishop, he is truly a man of cloth. And I say that because a lot of people fail to realize you are a man before you are a man of God. You know, the flesh came before he called you to get behind that pool, get in that pulpit and give the word. So my bishop loves to let us know about his struggles, his everyday struggles, not his past struggles, but his everyday struggles. But his word today was restore. Now, let me say that again. Because I, I can ramble on. My stepsister put up a message on her Facebook page this morning that I hit like on when I was getting ready for church. They said, God is restoring you. I get to church and the bishop preach, preaches on restore. Let that sink in for a minute. Now, for some people... It's just the end of the year, the beginning of the year, out with the old, in with the new. We want this. We want that. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Sure. Good luck. But how many people are actually putting God in the midst of everything that you're thinking about changing? Are we doing that? Are we saying, God, I want to go to school next year. If it's meant to be, make it happen. God. I want to write this book. I got so much in me. I need to put it on paper. Someone else could be in need of this information. I want to write a book. God, I want to I, I want to have children. I want to be married. I want to have a husband. I want a better job. I want a bigger house. How much of everything that we claim we're about to change are we putting God in? Or are we thinking we're going to do this ourselves? No. God is going to restore you. He's about to take the old and turn it into new. He's about to get a, get rid of some things so you can receive some things. And we can't fight against him because then we that's what you call blocking your own blessings. And I find it time and time again that that's what we do because we want what we want right now. Now, I'm 32 years old and I don't have any biological children. I've helped many take care of theirs. But I don't have any. And it is still my desire to have a child. But it's not my time. Now, do I struggle with that? Yes, I do. But he will restore me. He will give me all of the things that I've lost multiple times over. All the things that I, that I, that I desire will be mine in my time. And that's in his time. I could feel like this is my season, and I truly believe that it's everybody's. He's going to give you something. Nobody goes 12 months in a year and say that God hasn't did anything for you. That was your blessing. That could have been your season. That could have been something that you needed and didn't even know you needed or something that you asked for three years ago, and he's just now delivering it to you. But regardless of what it is, he takes care of us every single day. But what I do know that when it's my time on his time, I have everything that I'm supposed to have. But back to the word restore. You tired? He's going to restore you. You'll have energy again. You ain't got the job that you want or don't have a job at all? Don't worry. Restore. That job that you want is coming. That promotion that you so, so truly deserve is coming. Your kids are acting out. You don't feel like you're a fit parent. All of this can be restored. But we have to believe in that. We have to believe in him. We have to believe that, guess what, what it says, faith without works is dead. What are you doing in order to get to where you're trying to go? Or are you just, you just thinking it's going to happen? Because you say it. 
I want to be skinny. Will I wake up tomorrow size six? <laughs> it's not about to happen. I want my locks to be down my back right now. I'm not about to wake up tomorrow and that's already happened. We got to put in some time, some effort. We got to open up our hearts and put our mind to work. Because he will restore us. The question is, are you ready for all that he has to offer you? And if you are ready, what are you willing to do for it? I love you all. God bless and have an awesome Sunday.